Live from WTVG Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Hi there, it is 7 o'clock on this Sunday, January 5th. Thanks so much for waking up with us. I'm Christina Williams. And I'm Tony Geptis. We have live team coverage of the Arctic blast heading our way. We have meteorologist Ben Cathy tracking your forecast with the most up-to-the-date storm, mo storm models. And meteorologist Ross Elliott, he joins us with the weather in the weather, keeping an eye on those frigid temperatures outside and where they're heading. Plus, we have our entire team on the ground. Mackenzie Keyline is at the Ohio Department of Transportation monitoring how the plows are going to be working through this storm. And Zach Pitts is braving the elements, letting you know what's going on across our area. He's in Delta right now. And social media manager Rebecca Rainier here bright and early as well, posting to our website, getting you up to speed on how you can use our apps, Facebook and Twitter to get you the information you need as it becomes available. But we're going to start with a check of that forecast and we're going to turn it over to meteorologist Ben Cathy. Ben. Hi, good morning, Tina and Tony, and good Sunday morning to all of you. Well, right behind me, you're seeing the South Ludo Action Cam, and it's picking up on some of that light snow, just fluffy flakes, so they take a long time to reach the ground. That's why one of these wide shots gives you a better picture of kind of what is in the area right now. Live Doppler 13,000 HD, some snow moving through Marinci down towards uh, Delta, or at least on the well, edge of Delta Swan. Wasion also picking up some. And Hillsdale, you've seen some snow over the past couple of hours. Sylvania, snow just a couple of miles away. A little tiny band down towards Maumee and Waterville. More of a broad brush perspective. This is all coming our way. Now, I know, I know it is pale blue and green, but this is snowfall. There is some wintry mix down south of Indianapolis that will continue to follow for the rest of today. Quick check of your weather alerts through tonight right now and tomorrow morning a winter storm warning also a wind chill warning now for a look at what's going on in the weather in the weather here's meteorologist ross ellett ross well ben we do have a few of those flakes every once in a while they just kind of float their way down to the ground not a whole lot going on right now winds are fairly calm there's not a whole lot of snow falling. Temperatures here have warmed up around 30 degrees right now outside and weather in the weather. And let's take a look at where you are around the area right now. Sitting at 30 officially in Toledo, 28 in Monroe, 27 in Hillsdale, 32 in Finley, also 31 here in Sandusky. A temperature hovering around 33 in upper Sandusky at this point. So everybody kind of hovering around the freezing mark and that's where we'll be for the next few hours or so. Take a look at where we're going for later on today. You can see again those temperatures are not going to warm up much, but they're not going to fall a whole lot here over the next several hours. This morning, not bad. If you've got some of those plans that errands you may need to run, it's a good time to do that. Heavy snow picks up after 3 o'clock for today to 3 o'clock, but when it starts, it will be very heavy and things will go downhill very quickly. Notice we're at 12 at 9 o'clock tonight. Here's a look at those weather headlines. Snow's on the way for today. Wind and cold. That is for later on tonight. Some near blizzard conditions possible. That is some of the wording coming down from the National Weather Service, and we'll show you some of those wind gusts later on to confirm those possible blizzard conditions. And on the backside of that storm, it's wind chill values that we haven't seen in 20 years. We'll talk more about that coming up in a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Ross. The storm comes three days after another big storm, and roads in some counties are still snow covered, especially as we see the winds pick up. Williams, Ottawa, Sandusky, Erie and Huron counties are still under a level one snow emergency, but conditions for all of us will likely worsen in the coming hours here. If you live in Macomb, the police department has issued a full snow emergency for the village and the city of Adrian also under a snow emergency as of six o'clock this morning. This means you need to move your vehicles from any curb streets until further notice or you could be towed or get a fine. The snowstorm could drop up to one foot of snow in parts of our area over the next 24 hours. That means 12 hour shifts for the salt truck and plow drivers with the Ohio Department of Transportation. Let's go check in with 13 ABC's Mackenzie Heline. Yeah, more than 100 ODOT crews, they've been out since midnight. They've been here at ODOT loading up with salt, getting ready for today's heavier snowfall that will come this afternoon. Now, the good news for ODOT and for drivers is they've had a few days to prep for the snowfall. Why don't you take a look at this video here on Friday. Crews focused on treating roadways and clearing all lanes, shoulders, and walls along the interstate. However, they were unable to lay down that salt because of that high wind, so they laid down that salt on Saturday, getting that out, prepping for today's storm. And they've also been loading up the trucks on Saturday, getting everything ready. Now, Teresa Pollock with ODOT tells me that half of the fleet were on 12 hour shifts over the weekend. But starting today, all crews will be on 12 hour shifts. Getting ready for today, they will be out prepping 
putting salt down, scraping, getting that ice out with those freezing temps coming later today. She also wants me to remind drivers to leave to leave room for those ODOT crews to get through. Make sure you drive safely if you are hitting the streets and also move your vehicles from the roadway so that way those crews can get through to clear that snow that will be falling later this afternoon. For now, reporting live, Mackenzie Keyline, 13 ABC Action News. After all is said and done with this latest round of snow, you can bet the plows will be busy. Many of the trucks in the city of Toledo have not stopped since the last storm this past Wednesday. Meantime, some smaller residential streets are still waiting for a plow. We've been getting calls and emails into our newsroom from Toledoans who are upset because the roads in front of their homes are still covered in snow. People was out here stuck. People out here was sliding into each other. People couldn't get out. People can't even get, you know, where they need to go. We may be talking another six to ten inches on top of what's already on the ground. Roads will be treacherous for police, ambulances, and of course you if you're trying to get to work. Law enforcement officials are saying if you do not have to drive, they're advising you to stay home so plows can get the job done. And we have you covered here. We're continuing our live team coverage of the Arctic Blast. And we want to take a moment to remind you, if you look at the bottom of your screen, you can see all of those cancellations and closures that are already scrolling. We have hundreds into our system already. A majority of those churches on this early Sunday morning. Right. We also have them online as well at 13abc.com. But we're talking about bitter cold and fierce winds. They could shatter records over the next few days. 13ABC Zach Pitts. He's live in the village of Delta this morning with an update. Zach. Good morning, Tony and Tina. Yeah, in the village of Delta right now, Fulton County, just right behind me, just this uh, very light coating of snow on the ground. We've seen just a few flakes come down over here. Let's take a look over here. This is Route 20, the main road that runs through Delta right here. You can see kind of slushy, a little glistening on the roads. We've seen several ODOT trucks and salt trucks come through this area. As Mackenzie Keyline, she was saying just a little bit ago, that pre-treatment for the roads, it goes a long way whenever there is winter storms coming our way. Of course, a very significant storm heading our way today and we just came off that other storm a couple days ago a lot of snow then and ODOT said then that the biggest issue that they dealt with was all that blowing and drifting now that's definitely going to be the issue today aside from the significant snowfall we're expecting a lot of blowing and drifting a lot of wind is expected today so those rural roads may be an issue today of course ODOT trucks all salt trucks they will be maintaining the roads trying their best to keep the roads clear so as you are heading out today of course be very mindful that there are salt trucks so give them plenty of space also just take it slow on the roads today reporting live zach pitts 13 abc action news st paul's community center is a lifeline for many of the area's homeless here in toledo and over the next few days the center will be open from seven o'clock at night and stay open until 7 45 the following morning Anyone who needs a place to stay, a hot meal, and a shower can go to St. Paul's. And this year, the center is doing even more. For the first time that they come in, we go through an intake process to get all their information. Um, so that way we can keep it into a database to be able to provide them and link them with other services. St. Paul's winter crisis program could last until March if the center can raise enough money. And the Perrysburg Heights Community Center will be opening its doors at 10 o'clock this morning for anyone who needs a warm place to stay. Maybe your heat isn't working or maybe you don't have enough heat inside of your home. You can head over to the community center, bring your pillows and your blankets with you. The center will also have an area where you can bring your pet as long as it's inside of a cage. The center is set to stay open until Wednesday morning. From there, many of you are already posting online about the preparations in advance of this storm. Rebecca Rainier joins us live with the trend. Yeah, I want to start off here with photo that's kind of going viral, not here in our region, but this is uh, social media after all. And right now what's trending in New York City is the brand new mayor of the uh, Big Apple, Mayor Bill de Blasio. He was actually shoveling his own snow. I guess this is going viral because Bloomberg didn't do that kind of thing. But at any rate, this picture here of uh, the new mayor of New York City pitching in, getting his own walk shoveled, which is something we can all relate to. Okay, so locally, I want to show you, uh, late last night, I went to Kroger, yep, and we were fine. Lots of stuff on the shelves, but that was not the case earlier in the day. Earlier in the day, we were seeing a lot of empty shelves, calling them kind of tongue-in-cheek, hashtag empty shelfies. A lot of the stores seeing a kind of a run on bread, a run on milk, 
the kind of perishable things that people get concerned about. Here's an empty uh, cooler case here. However, a lot of stores then did restock, but that's really what people were facing yesterday as they kind of got ready for what could be on the way. Again, if you want to go on our Facebook page, uh, let us see what you're experiencing in your neck of the woods, whether it's uh, you're getting ready with some salt out there or if you're stocking your shelves, we want to see it. Again, Facebook on 13ABC's uh, Facebook page. We're on there all the time. We want to see what's happening by you. Also, 13ABC's Twitter feed and 13ABC.com. We've got you electronically, digitally the entire day, whether we're on the air or online. That's the trend. I'm Rebecca Rainier. And you can stay ahead of the severe weather by downloading the 13ABC Live Doppler 13000 app. It is free and it makes you able to zoom into your street to see those weather conditions as they're happening. Our coverage of this Arctic blast continues throughout today and includes our entire first warning storm team. They will be on air, online and on social media with the very latest information. You can look for weather updates at the top of each hour throughout today and overnight into tomorrow. You can also watch a live stream of our newscasts on 13ABC.com and on the app. 13 ABC Action News. Meteorologist Ross Ellen and I standing by. We're continuing to monitor the latest subtle trends on Live Doppler 13,000 HC. We'll bring you the full forecast around the bend. This is 13 ABC Action News. Good morning with Christina Williams and Tony Geftis.